Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy lotion bar recipe. So, what's a lotion bar, you ask? Well, a lotion bar is essentially a solid puck of lotion. It uses all the skin loving oils and waxes that you would find in a regular liquidy lotion, but there's no water. One of the reasons I really like lotion bars is because you can use them right away as soon as they set up. They're really fun and fast to do, super simple to make with children, and they're ecologically friendly. There's no plastics. So when you're formulating lotion bars, generally there's sort of a rule of thumb that you start with and kind of play from there. So it's about 30% butters, so like cocoa butter, shea butter, mm. this by the way is cocoa butter and it doesn't smell that much because it's the Brambleberry deodorized cocoa butter, but it still smells just a little warm and nutty. So about 30% butter, 30% waxes, and so in this case we're using a white bleached and deodorized beeswax from Brambleberry.com, and then about 40% liquids. And today I'm gonna to be using jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is actually a liquid wax, and it does really good on the skin. Doesn't smell like anything. It does really good on the skin because it helps provide a wonderful moisture barrier while also having a really good permeability for your skin, so it's fantastic. This is a pretty hard recipe, and the reason it's a pretty hard recipe is because I am putting it in the Brambleberry silicone rose mold. There's a lot of details in here, and if the recipe is too soft, those details don't come out very well. So now I'm gonna get started with my lotion bars. For this, I've chosen a fragrance from Brambleberry called Dewy Rose. It's part of the Heartfelt Collection, and it, yeah, it's a rose, but it's a more modern take on a traditional rose. So we've got some really beautiful pink rose notes in there, maybe a little bit of red rose, kind of a, uh, that's a deeper red rose, but then also some really nice leafy greens. And so it smells fresh, smells floral, but it's not like, it's not like that kind of old, heavy, cloying rose. I think you're really gonna like it. Lotion bars, like I said, super simple. You just add everything together. So here I'm just doing my beeswax pastilles. They melt faster when they're in these nice little small pastilles, so I love how those come. Then we've got our cocoa butter. And then I'm gonna add my liquids. And so here I'm gonna be doing my jojoba oil and I'm weighing it out as opposed to volume because every single oil has a different kind of weight versus volume. So you always wanna weigh because even though this is fast and simple, it's still science. Then this is rose extract and I'm using a full 2.4 ounces of it. And you're like, wait, you're using 2.4 ounces of extract, which is the same amount as the jojoba oil. What's up with that? Fun fact, the Brambleberry extracts actually come in fractionated coconut oil, and so they're really skin loving, good for skin, and oil soluble. So now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna toss it in the microwave, and I'm gonna melt it in 30 second bursts. I don't ever want this to get so hot that it starts to boil and kind of, well, if it boils, you are really in trouble because you got scorched oils in your microwave, it does not smell good. Now that everything is melted, or rather mostly melted, I pulled this out and there's still some beeswax in there. All you need to do to get that beeswax to fully melt is just stir it in. Remember, we don't want this to be too warm. It's just easier to let the heat of the surrounding oils and waxes melt the last little chunks. Now that it's fully clear, I'm gonna add my Dewy Rose fragrance. And I'm just gonna do about five milliliters in this entire batch. And the reason I'm only doing five milliliters is because I don't want to make a perfume on accident. What we're going for is a really beautiful, well, rose scent, but nothing that's overpowering. So when you walk into the room, it competes with your actual perfume or makes people like sit up and notice you. What you're looking for is just a really nice, subtle scent. So just five milliliters by volume in this entire batch is all you need. So now I can just leave this batch exactly the way it is, pour everything, and then you'll end up with this really nice ivory white kind of beautiful lotion bar, and it's, it's gorgeous in its simplicity. Or we can do half of a batch of white, half of a batch of pink, and that's obviously what I'm gonna be going for. So I'm gonna be using the Raspberry Mica from Brambleberry. It's a cosmetic gray colorant, and the reason I like it is because it really mixes in exceedingly well, and also, provides a gorgeous color to really match what the scent smells like. We don't need a lot. Remember, we're not going to dye the skin here, and any, um, any product, any mica that you use can always end up accidentally dyeing the skin if you use too much. In this case, I'm just using one eighth of a teaspoon. And since this cup was a little cold, I notice I'm getting a little bit of just 
a little bit of kind of icing on the sides, but it should be just fine. And now to get kind of this look here, what we do is we just kind of do a double pour. Hold one color in one hand, one color in the other hand, and pour. Just pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Just want to make sure that the temperature was about the same as this one, so the viscosity remained very similar. So now, in order to get this double pour, it's pretty easy. You just pour a little at the same time. They swirl together naturally. That is it. And then all you need to do is let this sit for two to four hours or do what I do, which is put this right into the freezer so it gets hard quickly, especially with those cocoa butter pastilles in there. Sometimes they do get a little bit granular if you don't get this cooled off very quickly. So toss this right into the freezer, take it out after two to four hours, and you will have beautiful lotion bars that are ready to use, give away, gift, or sell. So I did have these made earlier and put them in the freezer. In fact, I can see the condensation forming because I just pulled them out and so they're getting a little warm. So what you want to really make sure you're doing is pull, pull, and so you're really trying to release from the sides of the mold right now because you need to get these tiny little details in. And so you're trying to release without having to use your thumbs. So pulling down the sides and just being really careful as you're doing this maybe looking on the other side to see if you can see the air releasing, because I can see the air releasing here and here, and then you're not gonna wanna force those middles, so just be really careful. That's part of the reason the freezer really helps too. Let's see how, oh, we did perfect, and ah, oh, that was gorgeous. I love how these look, and these last a really long time too. Lotion bars are fantastic for kind of your feet. Um, think about like just slathering your feet in lotion and putting some socks on and going to bed. Um, they're fantastic also for knees and rough elbows. Uh, they're really good for travel. And hmm, also I look at these and I think Valentine's Day gifts. Like these are so perfect and gorgeous for, well, all year round, but well, you smell rose, you look at rose, you see pink, you think hearts, valentines. Thanks so much for watching. I really can't wait to see what you create. So make sure when you're making this or any project that you hashtag it Bramble On so I can see what you're doing and everybody else in the community can see it as well because what you're doing inspires us. Until next time, happy soaping.